pretty excited where the research took me on this next record coming up at number 19 up from 29 jumping 10 from 29 to 19 on my fancy playlist february 6 1999 it's in sync got a god must have spent a little more time on you my goodness <laughs> had some time on his hands <laughs> got to use it constructively and uh by InSync, their first top 10 hit. Just found that out. I didn't know that it was their first top 10. I remember, remember, Bye Bye Bye. That was one of the best pop records ever. I think that one went to number one, but that was later, back around the summer of 2000. God must have spent a little more time. Also covered by Alabama. Big hit for Alabama on the country charts by InSync, though. And, uh, you can find this song on their greatest hits albums. There are two compilation albums, the greatest hits came out in 2005, and also The Essential Sync, which was released in 2014. You can find that song on both those compilation albums. Now, let's get into the juice of this thing. This is the excitement. The guys who produced this record. Carl Strunken and Evan Rogers. Carl Strunken and Evan Rogers. My goodness, they, they work with a lot of people. Uh, they worked with Ruben Stardard, Christina Aquilera, and they discovered Rihanna. I'll get into that in just a minute. They started out, this production team, they started out in the 80s. These two guys, they started out in the mid-80s. Their first big hit that they produced and they wrote, One Step Closer to You by Gavin Christopher. Boy, that's amazing. If you're into the lost 45s like I am, Gavin Christopher, One Step Closer, was not a big, big hit. But it was a moderate-sized hit. Back in the spring of 86, I didn't know that they produced it. It's a lovely record. And they engineered Donny Osmond's comeback. They produced and they wrote Soldier of Love and also produced Sacred Emotion, two big hits for Donny Osmond in 1989. Then they formed a group. These two guys formed a group you might remember called Rhythm Syndicate. And they had the song P-A-S-S-I-O-N, and that was in the spring of 91, summer of 91, and then they came out with Donna after that. And they were with this group for a couple of years, and they went back to production again. David Gibson, they produced some stuff by Boy Zone, and they also worked with Brand New Heavies, and they produced this record by NSYNC. God must have spent a little more time on you. At number 19 on my fancy playlist of February 6, 1999. Produced by the Dynamite team of Carl Strunken and Evan Rogers. Oh, God, I forgot. Rihanna. I said I was going to mention something about Rihanna. Rogers, Evan Rogers, was vacationing in Barbados. This is about, about, about the early 2000s. He was vacationing in Barbados to visit his family when he spotted Rihanna performing. And these two guys, they took Rihanna to JC and to, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? L.A. Reid of Def Jam Records. And Rihanna, they signed her after she auditioned. They signed her right there. And they co-wrote and they produced Rihanna's first hit, Ponda Replay, back in 2005. Okay, that's Rihanna. Let's get back to NSYNC at number 19 on my fancy playlist, February 6, 1999. 